Hey again, everybody. Welcome to another edition of WON Theater. I'm your host, Justin Hard, and tonight we are going to be presenting to you yet another joint WON MMP Studios production featuring the woman of steel herself, Superwoman! I don't have a trumpet. <laughs> But I will tell you what we do have in tonight's film presentation, as Superwoman goes up against a parasite with a spine-chilling death grip, creating damage to a person's spine, and can even cause death if the victim can't scream. It is called The Tingler. First discovered in 1959 and thought to be destroyed, one of Superwoman's unseen deadly foes plants the deadly parasite in the shadows of the Woman of Steel. How will Superwoman be able to handle and deal with this deadly confrontation against this spine-tingling parasite? Based on the 1959 film plot, Linda Hines returns and stars as the Woman of Steel in... Superwoman and the Tingler. Enjoy.
coming. in a different type of attire. Something seems off about the way it was delivered. After these messages. It is totally unacceptable to me when people dump on New York. But how can I stop them when it's plain to see we're dumping on ourselves? We've got to sweep our sidewalks, put our trash in plastic bags, the bags in cans, etc., etc. How can we get the world to respect us if we don't respect ourselves? If you're a New Yorker, then sweep it, can it, bag it, and don't dump on New York. You're dead. We interrupt our radio program to bring you this special 920 WON news bulletin. I'm Brian Desway. A couple of reports are coming out of suburban Chicago that drivers of multiple SUV vehicles are tossing medium-sized objects into the face of unknown victims. So far, 10 fatalities have been reported. Police say that thick, deep tentacle marks have been found on the dead people's necks and throats. These strange-like creatures are described as multi-legged creatures in the shape of a spine. For more on this disturbing news story, let's send it over to Daniel Trugannon at our WON Chicago News Bureau. Daniel? Brian, reports continue to come into the newsroom here in Chicago, and the details are becoming more disturbing by the minute. The CPD are now saying that the death toll has risen up to 25 fatalities 
and they are all linked to the same thing. The police commissioner has been in contact with the mayors of the tri-state area, and they have announced a full-on lockdown for the entire Chicago land area, both in the city and the suburban areas. I've just gotten off the phone with one of the mayors, and he says, and I quote, if there is one person that can put a stop to this crazy madness, it's the woman of steel herself, superwoman. From all the city politicians I've talked to, the hope is that Superwoman is hearing what is happening in Chicago land by listening to this broadcast and that she is on her way to putting a stop to what is being described as an out-of-this-world deadly event. Brian. WON's Daniel Trugannon with that report from Chicago and we'll have more details on this developing story throughout the day. Here on 920 WON, the Apple in New York 48, this is Brian Desway for WON News. We'll be back with the full report tonight on the World News Roundup. Until then, good day. Must have been the tingler. Oh, where's my mirror? Oh, yeah. There's some redness and some imprints of tentacles. All signs point that it's the same thing. It's got to be the tingler. Oh, gross. I need to fly around and see if I can find where that nasty creature went. Area. No one is supposed to be in this area. Come on out. Oh, oh you ugly mother. Okay, 
you creepy bastard. Come and get me. <laughs> what? Are you afraid? Yeah? Time to play coy. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Come and get me, you disgusting creature!
return after these messages. Ask your sister to sit in a half a tub of water. You just saved over 10 gallons of water. So keep New York wet. Save water. Turn the water off when your mother's brushing her teeth. You'll save over a gallon of water. Keep New York wet. Save water. when the tingler comes back. It's quite an ordeal. Time to get back into my civilian clothes. Yeah, hi. Uh, this is Emily Nussbacher speaking. I'm calling in regards to the letter that you sent me about Superwoman being invited to a benefit rock concert for charity. Yeah, you said you wanted her to bring her electric guitar with her. Um, why do you need Superwoman to bring an electric guitar? 
<clears throat> um, <laughs> you want Superwoman to perform the rock concert? Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I thought you said. Um, well, yeah, yeah, she'll, she'll be there. Mm-hmm, yeah, you're, you're quite welcome. So I'll relay the message to Superwoman, okay? You okay? <laughs> yeah, take care. What have I done? I have a few weeks to learn how to play the electric guitar. How am I gonna accomplish that? <sighs> Wait a minute. I can accomplish anything. I'm Superwoman. Let's rock. We'll return after these messages. And that's going to do it for this show, and it's always good to see Superwoman flying around and saving the day, as she always does. And remember, folks, for more information on this show and a bunch of other shows as well, please do yourself a favor and visit us at WONNewYork.net. And WON New York is all one word, no hyphens, none of that stuff. It's just oh, WONNewYork.net. Simple as that. Till next time, I am Justin Hart, and please be sure to join us for another edition of WON Theater. See you later.